गुड मॉर्निंग मी डॉक्टर नीता माथुर असोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश एट श्री गोविंद सिंह गुर्जर गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज नसीराबाद अजमेर जेम्स टॉम्सन इज प्रिस्क्राइब फॉर द बी ए पार्ट टू स्टूडेंट्स पेपर वन टुडे वील टॉक अबाउट टॉम्सन द पोएट टॉम्सन वॉज अ स्कॉटिश पोएट वॉज बॉर्न ऑन सप्टेंबर इलेवेंथ सेवेंटीन हंड्रेड एट Ednam Roxburgh Scotland and he died on August 27th 1748 at Richmond England <clears throat> He was a Scottish poet whose best verse foreshadowed some of the attitudes of the romantic movement His poetry also gave expression to the achievements of Newtonian science and to an england reaching toward great political power based on commercial and maritime expansion educated at jedburgh grammar school and the university of edinburgh thompson went to london in 1725 while earning his living there as a tutor he published his masterpiece a long blank verse poem in four parts called the seasons winter came out in 1726 summer in 1727 spring in 1728 and the whole poem including autumn in 1730 the seasons was the first sustained in nature poem in english and concludes with a hymn to nature the work was a revolutionary departure its novelty lay not only in subject matter but in structure also what was most striking to thompson's earliest readers was his audacity in unifying his poem without a plot or other narrative device thereby defying the aristotelian criteria revered by the neoclassical critics thompson's belief that the scientist and the poet must collaborate in the service of god as revealed through nature found its best expression in the poem the poet is also remembered as the author of the famous ode rule britannia from alfred a mask in the year 1740 with music by t a arni for his ambitious poem in five parts liberty year 1735 36 and for the castle of indolence 1748 which is an allegory in spenserian stanzas on what may occur when indolence overcomes industry james thompson's poetry sustained a much more optimistic vision in the season which was first published as a complete entity in 1730 but then massively revised and expanded until 1746 Thompson meditated upon and described with fascinated precision the phenomena of nature. He brought to the task a vast array of erudition means knowledge and learning and a delighted absorption in the discoveries of post civil war science especially Newtonian science from whose vocabulary he borrowed freely. the image he developed of man's relationship to and cultivation of nature provided a buoyant portrait of the achieved civilization and wealth 
that ultimately derive from them and that in his judgment contemporary england enjoyed the diction of the seasons which is written in black verse has many miltonian echoes in the castle of indolence 1748 thomson's model is spenserian and its rarely developed allegory lords the virtues of industriousness and mercantile achievement because james thomson's long reflective landscape poem the seasons 1730 commanded so much attention and affection for at least 100 years after he wrote it his achievement has been identical with it thomson however was also a political figure through other poems and through some of his plays standing strongly for a kind of republican government republican ideal against what he saw as the vulpine individualism and oligarchic government of robert walpole as a scot who spent his adult life in england he embodied in his work a comity between the two lands and traditions partly with these socio political interests in mind partly to complement the sweep and poignancy of the seasons he wrote five tragedies and a patriotic mask of some distinction finally his spenserian allegory the castle of indolence published in the year 1748 stands as the finest in english other than edmund spenser's own the fairy queen thank you